Welcome to Electron Online. Here we're going to find the first moment of a composite plate. And when we find the first moment, even though it technically represents torque and weight, we use areas and distances to the center mass from the origin to the center of mass. So let me show you what we mean by that. The equation says that if we want to find the first moment about the y-axis, we sum up the x-coordinates of the individual pieces of the composite plate times the area of each of those, pl of those plates and add it together. Notice there's nothing about mass, gravity, weight, force like that. It's simply area times distance. So it actually gives us a volume unit and so you wonder, well, what are we really doing here? But it's just for convenience because really what it means is that we can assume that this piece on the left side of the y-axis to have a certain amount of weight, it has thickness, it has mass, force of gravity is pulling on it. So we have a force pulling down in this direction by this piece relative to the y-axis. So if this was a, if we're trying to find a moment about the y-axis, you can see that this would cause the whole thing to tip over in this direction. This portion of the plate on the right side of the y-axis causes a force, if this has mass and there's gravity, causes a force to pull in this direction, which means there's even a larger torque trying to pull this whole object in this direction, turning it about the y-axis. Just kind of assume that it's resting on the thin line represented by the y-axis. And finally, the semicircular area, you can also say that due to the weight of the, of the area and the distance it would be a torque pulling in this direction caused the whole plate to turn in this direction. But for convenience, we call it the first moment, which means we're simply going to take the x-coordinate of each of these three pieces, multiply times the area, sum them up, and that will give us the first moment about the y-axis, which in essence gives us the feel of which way the object would, would turn, what the torque would be or what the moment would be about the y-axis. Let's go ahead and do that. Q sub y is equal to the x-coordinate of the center mass of this piece right here, that would be halfway between the y-axis and the edge of that piece. Since it is one meter wide in this direction, that would be at the minus 0.5 meters relative to the y-axis. Minus 0 0.5 meters, and that is a decimal place right here, multiply times the area. Now the area is one meter wide times two meters long. That's two meters squared for the area. And it's a minus because it's on the left side of the y-axis. The y-coordinate, or I should say the x-coordinate of the center mass on the right side of this rectangular piece, notice call this piece number one, call this piece number two, and call this piece number three. So for the second piece, it would be halfway between this point and this point. It's four meters wide this way. That would be two meters plus two meters, which is the x-coordinate center mass of the second piece, multiply times the area. It's two meters wide, four meters long. That's eight meters squared. Then we add the third piece. We need to find the center mass of that piece, which is right here somewhere. And it's relative to the y-axis, so it would be four meters plus this distance. And that distance can be defined by the x-coordinate of a semicircle plate is four times the radius divided by three pi. That would be relative to this line here. So we add the two distances together. Four meters plus four times the radius, the radius is one meter, so one meter divided by three times pi. That is the distance from the y-axis to the center mass of that semicircular area. We multiply that times the area, which is one half times pi times the radius squared. The radius is one meter, so we say one meter squared. And I need to put meters here, and I need to put meters square there if I want to keep the units the same. Simplifying, this is equal to minus 1 meter cubed plus 16 meters squared plus, and for that I'm going to grab my calculator. 4 divided by 3, divided by pi, add that to 4, which means that the center mass of that semicircle piece, this here, uh, is located at 4.42 meters 
to the right of the y-axis, multiply that times 1 half times pi, we get 6.94, 6.94 meters cubed, and this should be meters cubed because it's meter times meter squared meters cubed. I can now go ahead and add all that together. Remember that this is a negative, so that's 15 plus 6.94. And the first moment about the y-axis of this composite plate is 21.94 meters cubed. It is positive, which places it to the right of the y-axis. It's simply an averaging out of the center mass of each individual part of that composite plate times the area of each of those parts. Add it all together, we get a positive 21.94 cubic meters. And that's how we find the first moment of a composite plate like that.